This video is sponsored by Diecast Airplane Store. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another review video. Today I would like to review Air Jamaica's Airbus A300 B4-203 by Aero Classics. Starting with the mold, I don't seem to find anything unusual about it. Everything appears to be nicely done. There are two flaws with the colors. The magenta is extremely dark and the blue should be slightly lighter. There are several flaws with the print. Two of them are in the tail, which should have more fading lines going down and small chips of the magenta color on the left side of the tail. Another flaw is in the title, in which the letters should be closer together, and by the R1 door, you can see a small area not painted yellow completely. This cradle mount is not bad, but there is a small gap all around. The wings are nicely done and detailed. One flaw is either the tail was done smaller or the slot was done bigger but there is a noticeable gap where the tail gets placed. Also, the right stabilizer is not completely in. The engines and pylons appear to be made from plastic. The inside of the engines are not the right color. The landing gear is beautifully done. The wheels appear to be made from rubber and the landing gear appears to be made from metal. All wheels roll nicely. Overall, this model will be up to you to get. Despite its flaws, this is still one of my favorite models because of the exotic colors on its livery. Well, that concludes the review for Air Jamaica's Airbus A300 B4-203 by Aero Classics. If you have this model, let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Please, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest reviews. This is Alpha and hope to help you guys back again soon.